I'd like to now discuss the different components of the acceleration. We talked about the angular acceleration and the tangential acceleration, that's whether the object is speeding up or slowing down. We also know that an object following a circular path has a radial component of acceleration, it's a centripetal acceleration, which always is pushing it toward the center of the path. So here we'll characterize both the tangential and centripetal accelerations. These are two perpendicular components. The tangential acceleration is in the direction of the velocity always. The centripetal acceleration is perpendicular to the velocity always. Sometimes I'll refer to the tangential acceleration a sub t as a sub parallel sine, and sometimes I'll refer to the radial acceleration a sub r as a sub perpendicular, or sometimes we'll also call that one the centripetal acceleration. The total acceleration of an object moving in a circular path is the combination of its tangential acceleration and its centripetal acceleration. But of course, these two vectors are perpendicular to each other. So here we can specify that the tangential acceleration is in the tangential direction. That's what this t hat vector refers to. It's the unit vector in the tangential direction, plus the radial acceleration in the radial direction. That's what the r hat vector is referring to. It's the radius vector. Now, strictly speaking, the radius vector points outward from the center to the object, and the radial acceleration, the centripetal acceleration, is in the opposite direction. The magnitude of the total acceleration, well, since these two components are perpendicular, we can say that the square of its magnitude is equal to the sums of the squares of the two perpendicular components that make it up. The direction of the total acceleration, that's the net acceleration of the object, is at some angle that is the arctangent of the radial acceleration divided by the tangential acceleration inward of forward. So whatever direction it's moving, that would be forward, and since it's moving in a circular path, there is a centripetal component inward. If it's speeding up, then it's forward. If it's slowing down, then it's backward. What's the centripetal acceleration? We already know that the magnitude of the centripetal acceleration is v squared over r, where v is the tangential speed, and r is the radius. We also know for a rotating object, omega, the angular speed, is equal to the tangential speed divided by the radius, so we can also find the speed v as the angular speed omega times the radius r. We can substitute that in. Omega r squared simplifies to the square of the angular speed times the radius. This makes sense. The faster you spin, the more the acceleration. Also makes sense, as you move farther and farther away from the center, at the same rate of spinning, the acceleration goes up. 